everyone welcome to my channel Yarnaculus and today our agenda is to make this block for the digit 3 we did the digits 1 and 2 last time so hope you liked it and if you did then you're gonna love this pattern too a small little fun fact before we get to the pattern is that the number 3 is my lucky number and I'm not a numerology believer but the house number of every apartment and house that I have lived in including my parents house has been a multiple of three so that's a fun little coincidence right anyway what's your lucky number and why do let me know in the comments below i would love to read your stories around lucky numbers another thing is that like i say in every video of mine i have so many crochet patterns to show you guys so please consider joining my crochet party by smashing the subscribe button down below there are tons of crochet goodies coming your way Coming back to today's tutorial, for this block you can use any yarn in any size and color that you wish uh, and a corresponding hook. I will mention the materials that I used below in the description but it's totally up to you what you use and it's gonna be gorgeous irrespective of whichever yarn you use. Just make sure that you use a corresponding crochet hook, okay? So let's get started with this digit then, shall we? Alright guys, for the block of number 3 as well, let's start the same way as we started for the block of number 1 and number 2. That's gonna be a slip stitch, 16 chains as your foundation chain and for rows number 2, 3 and 4, you're gonna do single crochet in every stitch and it's gonna give you 15 single crochets on every row. So let's do that and we'll take it up from row number 5 onwards. Okay, that's how your work should look at the end of row number 4. Just keep an eye on the number of stitches on rows number 2, 3 and 4. Each of them should have 15 single crochets. Okay, for row number 5, chain 1, turn your work and let's start with 5 single crochets. five okay now after five single crochets we need to do a bobble stitch and in this pattern we've been doing a bobble stitch by doing five double crochets halfway in the same stitch i'll show you how to do that so you need to yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop 
yarn over and just pull through two loops and stop right there okay now you have two loops on your hook yarn over again insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two and stop now you have three loops you're gonna continue doing this that's yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two until you have six loops on your hook which means we're gonna do five double crochets halfway in the same stitch so we just did it two times let's do it three more times that's thrice number four and once more that's number five okay now you should have six loops on your hook one two three four five and six when you have that yarn over and pull through all the six loops and just tighten this side of your yarn so this comes out as a bobble on the other side so that's your bobble stitch and you're gonna do a single crochet in the immediate next stitch to put this into place just a plain single crochet okay now a bobble stitch and a single crochet is a pair so on row number five for the number three we need three such pairs okay that was pair number one let's do the second pair three four and five yarn over pull through all six loops that was your bobble stitch number two single crochet in the very next stitch and we need one more pair of bobble stitch and single crochet so let's do that one two three four and five okay yarn over pull through all six tighten this side of your yarn and a single crochet in the very next stitch okay those are three pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet after that you're gonna be left with four stitches in which you're gonna do a single crochet each so you'll have four single crochets to end row number five okay done with row number five chain one turn your work row number six is gonna be a row of single crochet in every stitch so just do that and you're gonna get 15 single crochets on this row okay once you're done with row number six let's go to row number seven for that chain one turn your work and let's start with four single crochets do a bobble stitch in the next stitch Okay. followed by five single crochets and 
and a bobble stitch in the next stitch. The last thing on this row is going to be 4 single crochets. Chain 1, let's move on to row number 8 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. So do that and you're going to get 15 single crochets on this row. Okay, for row number 9, chain 1, turn your work and start with 10 single crochets. The next stitch is going to be a bobble stitch. And you're going to be left with the last four stitches which are going to be single crochets. For row number 10, chain 1, turn your work and do a single crochet in every stitch all along this row. So that's going to give you 15 single crochet. Okay. After row number 10, we need to repeat rows number 9 and 10 once again, which means your row number 11 is going to be 10 single crochets, 1 bobble stitch and 4 single crochets, just like we did for row number 9 and row number 12 is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. Let's quickly do this and we'll see what needs to be done for row number 13 onwards. So chain 1. Turn your work and do 10 single crochets, 1 bobble stitch and 4 single crochets.
okay once you're done with row number 12 which was a row of single crochet in every stitch chain one turn your work for row number 13 for row number 13 we need to start with nine single crochets followed by a bobble and followed by five single crochets Chain 1, turn your work, do row number 14 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. Okay, for row number 15, chain 1, turn your work and start with 6 single crochets. The next stitch is going to be a bobble stitch. A single crochet after that. And we need another bobble stitch. Okay, and the last thing on this row is going to be six single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work, do a row of single crochet in every stitch and that's going to be your row number 16. Alright, for row number 17, chain 1, turn your work and start with 9 single crochets.
followed by a bobble stitch. And end this row with 5 single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work and let's do a row of single crochet in every stitch. That's going to be your row number 18. Okay, for row number 19, chain 1, turn your work and start with 10 single crochets. A bobble stitch in the next stitch. And to end this row, we'll have four single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work. Let's do a row of single crochet in every stitch. That's going to be your row number 20. chain one turn your work and we need to repeat the two rows that we just did that were 19 and 20 once again which is going to be your rows number 21 and 22 so for row number 21 do 10 single crochets one bobble stitch and four single crochets for row number 22 do a single crochet in every stitch and it's going to give you 15 single crochets so let's do that real quick and then we'll proceed ahead Okay, once you have repeated those two rows, you'll be at the end of row number 22. So for row number 23, chain 1, turn your work and start with 4 single crochets. Put a bobble stitch in the next stitch.
followed by 5 single crochets. A bobble in the next stitch. And the last thing on this row is going to be 4 single crochets. Okay, chain 1, turn your work and do row number 24 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. Okay, once you are done with row number 24, for row number 25, chain 1, turn your work and start with 5 single crochets. And then after that, just like we did for row number 5, we need 3 pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. So let's start with the first pair. Single crochet for pair number 1, bobble stitch number 2, single crochet for pair number 2, and the last bobble stitch. Okay, and the single crochet for pair number three. After that, you're gonna be left with four single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work and the letter 3 is actually done. All that you need to do is 5 more rows of single crochet in every stitch and then the white colored border that we do for all other blocks. If you want a refresher of the border stitches, just check out the first video of this series. That's where I explain the border in detail. Essentially, we're just gonna do 15 single crochets on the top and the bottom and 30 single crochets on the sides. And that's gonna be your white colored border. And I just made two such rows so it just looks better when the block is completed. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this block as well. And let me show you how that looks. I'll be back very soon. Alright, one more block done and this is how it looks with all of the borders. I'm gonna leave you with that today but before I leave, the written pattern for all of these blocks from 0 to 9 is available on my shop at pyracreations.com so do check it out and let me know if you have any comments or feedback for me, okay? I will mention all of my social media hangout places in the description below in case you want to reach out and say hi. Next time we're gonna make this block for the number 4. Till then, take care and happy crocheting!